everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your first week of August reading start from the 1st through the 7th of August 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Libra. Um, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and you can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well. I will add the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. Well, I will be adding uh, one oracle card in this reading. So let's get started. Let's see what is heading towards you guys for this week time. Uh, since I'm recording this video on the 2nd of uh, August. So for some of you, you might have already experienced the energies that I'm going to pick up for the first two cards here. So just pick how it is resonating with you or uh, your situation and leave the rest. Let's get started coming up for Libras. Three of Wands, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, wow, Five of Wands, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands, let's take one more card here, Three of Cups. I need the deck to have Eight of Wands. Let's see one more card, I need that, Five of Cups. I feel like you know somebody's uh somebody recently got disappointed uh with the uh, with the person when when you were talking to that person um it can be you got disappointed by another person or you disappointed another person in your life it can be you know vice versa as well for some of you the energies i'm going to pick up it could be the energies of your person that you are dealing with as well so just pick again how it is resonating with you in your situation i feel like you know somebody has like you know uh, let me let me put it this way um Somebody has disappointed you and now it's like, you know, um, I, I don't see you communicating openly uh, right now, even though the communication is pretty much on your mind, but there is no communication. That's what I'm picking up. Um, somebody's waiting for communication to come in. Somebody's waiting for, you know, uh, the messages to come in, but it's not happening. Somebody is on the waiting side, especially when it, uh, when you start the week, like, you know, the first, second, uh, is going to be the time when you would be waiting for some sort of communication because uh, somebody has disappointed you in, in the recent uh, past. And you really want things to move forward. You really want them to reach out to you. You really want things to move in a, in a, in a, uh, in a way where you don't have any stress around this you know, connection that you have with this specific person. You really want it to be a successful relationship but things are not happening like you know whatever you desire whatever you want with this person with this connection it's not happening the growth that you seek the the love the maturity that you want in this connection coming from your person that's not happening um i feel like you know no matter how hard you try to make things work the person does you know disappoint you in each and every way they do disappoint you in terms of communication they do disappoint you in terms of like you know they always make maybe make you wait for them they always pick up pies they always you know um they, they always have some sort of uh you know guards up when it comes to you know open communication that could be the case as well um but <sighs> yes i feel like you know you really want things to be smooth now you you you, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't see any communication happening between you and your person. And if it is happening, it is going to be very limited. It's not going to be open. It's not going to be where you are expressing your heart out to this person, even though you would want that. But at the same time, I don't see either one of you taking action towards the other person. Um, it's more like you know, the communication is going to be on the mind. For some reasons, I, I feel like, you know, the communication that you might have had with this person in the recent times is something that you are thinking about. It can be an offer that might have been made to you or it can be an offer that you might have made to another person. And now you're waiting for the response or maybe now they're waiting for your response and they really want things to go smooth. But that communication, that wait is not getting over in time soon is what I'm picking up. You really want some sort of a movement forward, some sort of growth in this connection. But I do see you getting disappointed again. And that's going to make you feel like, you know, moving on with your life. You would feel like, you know, maybe it's never going to work. You would have that inner conflict around the situation during this week time. You would want the happiness, but it's not happening. So you would feel like, I don't know what to do with this person. I don't know what to do with this connection. I don't know what to, you know, what to say, what to do to make this person understand that we have to talk through things. Um, I feel like, you know, either one of you is not ready to com communicate openly which is why the situation is not as bad as it seems because of the lack of communication or lack of understanding uh somebody is really um uh, disappointed here it can be you or your person that you are dealing with but again 
uh, I don't see things moving forward because uh, there is the lack of communication and there's lack of maturity in this connection and um, Let's take two more cards here. Okay. Tower. Somebody really wants uh, some movement forward in this connection, but it's again the other person is not uh, um, giving in the communication, and it's disappointing the other person. It, it, if you are the one who is not having open communication, or uh, then definitely you are getting conflicted where, where this connection is going to head. Um, but I feel like, you know, whoever it is who is holding back uh, themselves right now, I do see that, you know, they are soon going to realize that the communication is going to be the key here. Uh, you know, if, if you disappointed them, they disappointed you, you can always talk through things. And if, if you don't talk, you don't share what is it that's keeping you away from this person, even though you want to talk, even though you want to, uh, you know, uh, fix things up. But there shouldn't be a temporary fix in this connection because I feel like, you know, it has been a kind of uh, on and off uh, situation between you and your person. So you really have to find a, you know, a permanent fix here. You really have to see through things, decide accordingly how you can improve the situation by taking the solid, you know, concrete steps towards, you know, cementing this connection, cementing the, um, the, 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 you know, the, the, it's, it's more like, you know, you really have to, um, Whatever this issue is, you really have to find it out, figure it out, fix things up, and then cement the connection with, with a solid uh, plan to go about it. So I feel like, you know, for some reasons, it's it's not going to happen this week time. It's, it's going to be the time when you are going to be going back and forth with this person. Um, I do see you reconciling. I do see you talking to this person. But at the same time... Um, this time around, it seems like, you know, uh, either one of you, whoever it is that is like, you know, not ready to settle in for less, is going to stand up for themselves. It can be your energy. It can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. And I feel like, you know, you are going to tell this person, if you are ready to give me this, then I'm in. If you are not, then I'm out. So I feel like, you know, um, somebody here is definitely demanding some sort of open communication around love life situation around how they can you know fix things up how they can take this connection in a in a in a smoother way in a better way in a way where they see success ahead of them in this connection instead of having fights and you know going back and forth and stuff like that i do see that somebody really is asking and demanding for some sort of uh, you know clarity around where this relationship is going to head is it is it going in the right direction or it's not going anywhere at all? Because I feel like, you know, somebody is definitely, you know, uh, needing that communication to happen where they could decide about the future. If it's going to be with this person or if it's not going to work, then um, they will think of lose, you know, uh, moving on, leaving this person behind. But I don't see that happening. I do see you fixing things up, but it's not going to happen this week time. I do see it's going to come in the, in the maybe in the later part of the month, but it's not happening this week time. But yes, the reconciliation is happening. But again, if you don't decide, if you don't, you know, uh, figure out the permanent fix, things are going to stay stagnant. Things are going to stay exactly the way they are right now. Uh, you will be having back and forth energies with this person. You will be going back and forth with this person. And it's not, it's not going to head anywhere. So you have to be, you know, very clear in your head. What do you want? And let your person know. Openly communicate. What is it that you want? What is it that they, you know, that uh, they do and disappoint you? If they understand it, if they are ready to give you uh, what you desire in this connection and you could, you know, decide mutually what is it that you both want in this connection, then only there is a chance of having the smoother, uh, you know, type of uh, movement forward. If you don't figure things out, if you don't find a, you know, a permanent fix, then temporary fix is going to keep you back and forth in the same energy here with this person. So let's see one more card here. Let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys. Worth waiting for. Uh, divine timing is at work in your love life. <sighs> there are certain things that you need to heal from. There are certain things that you need to learn from. And until and unless you both understand, you both learn that, it's not going to, you know, get fixed. 
the I feel like you know you have been going on and off with this person for I don't know for for maybe for since forever. So um, I think it's 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 gonna work out when the time is right. And this week is not the right time. I do see you coming back together, having some good time again, uh, trying to fix the. Um, I don't see it getting fixed. It's more like you know you would feel like okay, fine. I I cannot stay without you. You cannot stay without me. Let's talk again and let's you know uh, act as if nothing has happened. It's it's always like that. Like you know, whenever you come back together, you never talk about what has happened, what made you part ways. So that could be the reason why things are not moving forward with the with with you two guys because you are not openly communicating what is it that you want with this connection. Uh, you 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 pretend to be okay having them uh, you know in your life but when it comes to you know what's going to be the future what's how you guys are planning to take this connection to the next level that's when you both crash that's what i'm picking up very strongly here and until and unless you openly communicate your heart out to each other around this connection around the situation it's never going to work out well for you you are going to part ways you are going to come back you are going to part ways you are going to come back so that's what i'm picking up and i do see you coming back this week time as well but at the same time i do see you parting ways as well until and unless the time is right you are not going to stay together forever so somebody has to take the decision or has to stand up uh, for themselves to get what they want in this connection otherwise it's never going to and the situation is never going to change uh, if nobody takes the stand for this connection. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading. You can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.